when you are planning for your education in germany there are a lot of things that you might not know one of those things can be study pattern in germany hello everyone my name is ankit jaiswal and in this video i will share five tips which i feel you should know before you start your education in germany let's consider you are uh, you're coming to germany for a master's program the master's program is normally for a duration of four uh, semesters that is two years out of this four semesters three semesters will be for your subjects and the last semester is for your master thesis the master thesis has the maximum credits that is 30 credits and depending on the course you will have 10 to 15 credits for an internship or a research project and rest all the remaining credits are for your subjects so let's discuss this in detail first is subjects and planning so you depending on the course you will have 10 to 20 subjects in your course and each course will have two to six credits and you have to finish in all around 90 credits for your subjects out of all the subjects it is very important which subjects you choose as this decides your career path ahead so there will be some subjects which will be compulsory and there will be a lot of optional subjects now based on your optional uh, selection of optional subjects your career path will be decided so i recommend you highly that you choose your subjects properly uh, let's say you're not sure what subjects i should take then i will recommend you to go through the subject syllabus and see where you can apply this knowledge and in which field or at which job you can apply this knowledge take your time think and then choose your subjects properly such that that will be helpful for you in future second is failing in a subject in germany if you fail in a particular subject three times you cannot take admission in that particular course in entire germany so let's say you are a student of ml system and you failed in a particular subject three times if this happens then you cannot study embedded systems in entire germany so that's why selecting your subjects is very important make sure that the subjects which you like and which is relevant to your career path you choose those subjects the third thing is flexibility in Germany, the courses are very flexible. So you have, you have an option to choose any subject and any number of subjects. So let's say you are in your first semester and you want to take some subjects of third semester. Then you can do that. And you can take any number of subjects in that particular semester. So you can take either one or you can even take 10 subjects in a particular semester. So it's up to you how many subjects you want to study. Uh, in a particular semester if you want to complete all the subjects in two semesters even that is possible so what you can do is you can uh, take subjects which are in the third semester in the first semester itself and the second semester subjects you can do in the second semester such that you can complete all your subjects in two semesters that is also possible fourth thing is the grading system so in Germany you get a grade from 1 to 5 1 being the highest and 4 being the lowest passing grade and if you get 5.0 then you are failed in that particular subject also the range 1 to 4 is subdivided so you can get either 1.0 1.3 1.7 and directly 2.0 and then the and then it continues like 2.3 2.7 3 3.3, 3.7, 3 4 directly. So only this, uh, this are the grades that are possible. Except if there are, there is a subject you, in which you have lab and you have written exam, and let's say you scored 1.0 in the lab and 1.3 in the written exam. In that particular case only, you can get a average score of 1.2. Else, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, this grades don't exist. Also, the grading can be relative or absolute it totally depends on the professor which kind of grading system he uses so the grade grades can be decided based on the highest score 
or it can be decided based on the marks that the professor would have decided that let's say somebody scoring 38 or about out of 40 will get 1.0 something like that so that totally depends on the professor and that's how it can be either relative or absolute grading fifth thing is master thesis or internship it is highly recommended that you do an internship or you do a master thesis at a company such that you get some professional experience so let's say if you want to do a master thesis or you want to do an internship at the company then you have to start your application at least three three to six months before there are a lot of big companies who hire their interns four to five months before uh, if you let's say you want to do your internship in third semester so you should start applying for internship in the second semester itself you should not wait for the third semester or the vacation of third semester for the application as the application takes a lot of time so it the you might get internship in let's say three or six months so that's why you should apply as soon as possible maybe a semester before also you choose uh, in internship properly just don't take any internship you choose it according to the career path that you have decided because the internship and master thesis that you do based on that you get your full-time job there are a lot of times when the company where you are doing your internship or thesis can also give you a job so it is important that you choose the internship path also properly and apply beforehand Bonus step is related to German language. There will be there are a lot of courses which will not have any grades for German language. But it is highly recommended that you study language during your semesters because this will help you in future either for jobs, full-time or part-time jobs or internship. You will have German language courses in the university, but I feel that is not very effective because that happens twice a week. So I highly recommend that you join some of the classes which are free in the city or you can also go for some private classes which will give you a good amount of sessions. So this will help you to improve your language and get a good job at the end. So this is the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about this video and you have if you have any suggestions or topics for the future videos please write down in the comments below. Do follow me on Instagram. My ID is Ankit Jaswar1201 and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.